Hello, the wonderful people of YouTube. Retro Rewinder here, coming at you with another episode of Drive Time. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these, and that is because I lost my license for a brief amount of time. Um, I actually got arrested for operating heavy machinery while under the influence of alcohol, but I still say it wasn't my fault. Um, basically what happened is I was lugging around this old antique sewing machine drunk in public. Yeah, that wasn't very funny. But anyway, I'm back. The weather's nice. Um, finally, um, I should start getting back to my outside job in the not so distant future. So that's pretty exciting because I've been missing working outside. Um, in this episode of Drive Time, I want to talk about length of games versus your dollar. Um, this has been a popular conversation after the Order 1886 came out, and I had a few thoughts on it. Uh, most people are are for a game not being long as long as it's good, which I am too. But this is what happens when I consider buying a game. If I am going to buy a $60 game, brand new, uh, in Canada it's $70. If I'm going to buy a brand new game, I want it to have multiple hours of enjoyment. And I do kind of measure it, how much money am I spending per hour? For instance, if it is only five hours long and you spend $60, do the math, that's $12 an hour. I would not go see a movie for $12 an hour, regardless of how good the movie was. Um, I just wouldn't pay that. That's a personal preference um, of myself. So I do kind of judge it by how much money am I spending per hour to play it. I may really enjoy it for the five hours, which is fine. But I'm gonna wait till it drops in price. I might pick it up for $30. But when it's a five hour game, no matter how good it is, um, it can wait. It's not like two months from now, the game is going to cease to exist. Um, so I'm just gonna pick one up used at a much cheaper price. I didn't have a whole lot to say about this topic. I've never played the order, so I can't say if it's good or not. Um, I've heard mixed reviews. Some people really like it, some don't. But mine, my point in making this video was just to talk about the price that I would pay personally to play a game. Like I said, um, it can it can only be five hours and that's fine, but I'm gonna wait till it drops in price. Not saying you should. If you wanna jump on and buy a game day one that's only five hours and you pay $60, go for it. Anyway, this has been Retro Rewinder. I just wanted to make this real quick to get a drive time out there. I haven't done one in so long. And it was time. It was time. I'll see you next time.